As we notice that heat wave Gorbin has heading for the northeast coast, we are expecting some temperatures going 96 degrees Fahrenheit. And actually, it's going to be a really bad heat wave today. It's going to be even worse than last week and before. Last weekend, it used to be 93 degrees Fahrenheit, but now we're going to have the much worse heat wave that's going to be 113 degrees. Right now, I'm in um, Ingle, um, Woodcliffe, New Jersey. Uh, I'm going to show you some drawing that I did of how the heat wave is going to hit the Northeast, so stay tuned. Welcome to Neil Gonzalez Weather X45 News. Watch for Heat Wave Gorbin. Okay, everyone, quit editing right there. Um, this is the United States of America. If you're confused, I'm going to sh um, tell you um, what state is this. This is Florida. This is New York City. And this is like the upper part state of New York. This is the part. This is what I drew. I drew um, North America. And this is Heat Wave Gorbin right here. This is the low pressure BH, which stands for bad high pressure. I'm going to put that right now. This stands for bad high pressure. Okay, so what we hear, this is in Texas. This is Texas, this is Mexico, this is North Dakota, South Dakota. So what we're having is this big, giant, giant vortex of heat. And it's forming up. And the reason why it's forming up is due to this warm air and cool air and as some thunderstorms that, that's hitting from North Dakota, South Dakota, and the west state and parts of the USA. So we have these little storms that are just moving across, just a little tiny bits of storms. And that's causing some moisty air, which is right here. This is moisture air. And then we have a little cool air. And then what happens is, in this west part, it becomes more widespread. So when it, the more it becomes more widespread, the more warm with cool air comes and collides with the cool air, and then it goes directly to the moisture air. So what happens is, this heat wave that's colliding with this moisture air, cool air, and warm air, it starts to overcome to widespread even more. It starts to widespread even more. So right now, it's supposed to be right now 91 degrees for the real feel, but it's going to feel like 100 degrees. But that's nothing, people. Once we go tomorrow and Wednesday, it's going to get even more worse. Um, so it's going to become widespread, and it's going to become even worse. And whoever lives in that center of the BH, they are going to expect some temperatures that's going to feel like 113 to 120 degrees. And you know some deserts from North America? We are getting droughts, lots of droughts, and I'm talking about lots of droughts, and it's getting really bad. In Texas, the, um, which is the desert lands from Texas, um, some of the lands which are the deserts, they're having temperatures that's rising to like a feel of 125 degrees. Due to this heat wave and cool air and moisture air and cooling warm air and cool air colliding with this big bungle badness of Mother Nature's raw, which is heat wave Gorbin. So what happens is this heat wave, as it expands more, it starts to get even more expand. And this is New York City right here. Um, this is Pennsylvania. This is uh, right here. There's like balance of water. We see New Jersey here. So what happens is this heat wave, it starts to get even more stronger and more, more widespread. As it becomes more widespread, it hits towards the northeast. But this is nothing, people. This is today, Tuesday, how it looks like. This is how it looks like. It's only right here now. And this is the heat wave coming directly. Right now, we issued a heat wave advisory, stroke warning, uh, asthma warning, including a heat wave warning. So what's going to happen is that this heat wave is going to become big. And as it becomes big, it starts to hit the northeast right there. This is right here in the area where Manhattan is, Brooklyn, and, and Queens doesn't get it yet. Once we get more into the afternoon, the heat wave starts to get more. And this happens at 2 o'clock p.m. And it's going to be in an effect till Friday. This heat wave is going to be living till Friday. And it's going to be a really, really, really 
really bad situation. I'm talking that this heat wave that we're going to expect is going to be really, really severe. And it's going to be very dangerous for outdoor activities. Tomorrow is going to be very, very hot. Today, right now, it's nothing. Right now, it's 91 degrees. Um, and so what's going to happen is as this heat wave starts to get stronger and bigger and bigger due to this moisture and cool air and warm with cool, this is actually the Pacific Ocean. So what happens is it goes with the cool air, moisture air, the bad high pressure, which is the low pressure, Gorbin, heat wave Gorbin, as it expands more, I'm going to show you how it's going to hit. This vortex, this is a vortex, it's going to go up, then it's going to go down, then it's going to move up this way, and then this is what happens to Wednesday. Bam! Then it makes a curl up, and then the heat wave starts weakening. But it's not over yet. This is Friday now. This is Friday. Then it comes back, and then it starts weakening a little. This is how it's going to hit. So it's going to start from here. This is Tuesday. This is Tuesday, 2 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Then 1 o'clock, it stays here because it's going to be like temperatures from 78 degrees. So then what happens is once we get into the afternoon, skip that, 2 o'clock p.m., bam, this is New York City. You get that heat wave and it's, and that's, and it's going to get the, the vortex. It's going to get even more bigger. So this area that you live in, if you're living in between this area, New York City, Florida, you're going to have some really bad, bad heat wave conditions. Not just only that, Florida, we have some thunderstorms. So let me draw like a circle of thunderstorms. So we have thunderstorms that are forming. And then it's heavy downpours of rain. And then it becomes moisture. So after when it becomes moisture, this heat wave right here, this big bungle of monster starts to become more widespread and then Wednesday it gets hotter and hotter. So people, if you're going outside to work tomorrow, I recommend you wear some shirt like this. A shirt like this, some shorts like this. I recommend you wear that for your for your work because this heat wave is going to be even more worse. It's going to be 96 degrees tomorrow. Today it's 91 degrees. But that's nothing people. This is nothing. This is the big heat wave. And as it hits, it's so big, it's over 80, 80 more miles wide than before from 2011 of the heat wave. This is 80 miles more wider than 2011 heat wave. 2011 heat wave, could you imagine? So this is a big, big heat wave that we're dealing right now. It, as these moisture and cool air, including the warm and cool air, these two, three things, and clean the moisture due to those thunderstorms, we are going to expect some more impact with this heat wave. And people with technology, it's starting to get advanced more. And people working in factories, it's getting even more worse. It's making the heat even more bigger and stronger. And people are dumb enough to, to make factories and, and make it more, putting too much pollution. And not just only that, we issued a green, green gas advisory due to the humans that are not taking care of this planet really good. Due to the factories that they're making and due to the trees cutting down trees from um, Greenland that they're doing they're producing too much pollution in our earth so this is what's causing this disaster we're having a lot of droughts in Texas we're having a lot of droughts in Michigan so that's my little updates for you today hope you guys like this video I'm gonna record tomorrow the the heat wave that I'm gonna be outside and see how it feels stay tuned for more videos for tomorrow peace out